The amount of ground that we have to cover here today, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to get right down to business. It would help me out so very much if you would take one second to click that like button if you are excited about this drugstore hair routine so that more people can see this video. If you are new here, my name is India. I like to create a multitude of types of content, embracing your natural hair texture being one of them. If you've not already checked out my Instagram, I'll have a link for that down below. Let's go ahead and jump in. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Grab a snack, girly pop. Your girl tried out some new hair products. This is actually only third day hair and it's not looking the best. I don't wanna say what brand it is just yet because I don't feel like I use enough of the styling products. Today we're gonna to go over my tried and true drugstore hair products. Hopping in the shower, today I'm using the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Shampoo. This has been a tried and true shampoo for me for literally years. This shampoo is Curly Girl Method approved if you follow that strictly. I do wanna note that this is a rice curl complex line. Some of the products and not your mother's curl talk line have protein, some do not, this one in particular does. This is the one I'm gonna be using here today because it gives me lovely, lovely volume. Now I did wanna briefly mention two other shampoos while I've got you here. <laughs> that I really personally enjoy. First up, we have Sun Bums Curl and Wave Shampoo. This is a pretty neutral shampoo. I am able to get a nice amount of volume out of this, but it's not quite as much as the Not Your Mother's because it's a little bit more hydrating. It's really lovely, it's sulfate-free, and I genuinely enjoy it, as well as Twists Shampoo. This is a gentle oil-infused shampoo. This is gonna be the most hydrating option of the three. I can personally still get volume with this shampoo. However, if you struggle with getting volume, I would skip this shampoo and opt for one of the others, but if you have a really dry scalp and you're looking for a little bit of extra moisture, this is a really, really good one from Twist by We Dodd, in my opinion. And friendly reminder, I will have links for all of these products in the description box down below, right there, just check them out right there. Moving on to conditioners, these are my top three drugstore conditioners of the moment. You guys already know I love the Shea Moisture 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration conditioner with coconut milk and acai Senegal. Why are their names so long? You guys know that I have loved and used this conditioner for literally years. It seems only fair for me to be using this today. I did wanna feature two other conditioners from the drugstore that I really, really love as well. Next up being the Maui Moisture Flaxseed Conditioner. The flaxseed line in general is lovely. The refresher, the shampoo, also could have been included in my shampoo favorites. They're both really, really good. The flaxseed line, in my opinion, is really helpful with shine, which is something I, as a blonde in particular, really struggle with. Flaxseed in general is known for being a lovely ingredient for adding definition to your hair, and I just love this line. Last but not least, I did want to briefly mention Pacifica Pineapple Curls Conditioner. It's probably in between the three of these. Most hydrating, middle hydration, very, very close third hydration. This is the most lightweight conditioner, which I really like because I can get that massive volume. But if you're looking for a little more hydration, Pacifica's line is really, really nice. When it comes to hair masks, I do personally think that this is an area that I do see a difference in between drugstore and higher end. Um, and I feel like there needs to be a better gap filled here but I will go over my top three favorites of the drugstore. But if I'm gonna reach for a mask, especially recently, I have been reaching for higher end masks. So top three drugstore masks, I only have one physically on hand. The other two I'll show in pictures. Uh, first up, we have Maui Moisture's Thicken and Restore Bamboo Fibers Fortifying Mask for Weak and Brittle Hair. This is the one I'm gonna be using here today. It's a very thick mask that's gonna moisturize really deeply and penetrate into the hair shaft. My personal favorite hair mask, I've spoken about many times, is from Shea Moisture. It's their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. It is so lovely. I just don't have it because I ran out of it because I love it. My third favorite would be Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Apple Blossom Mask. It's in a green jar. It's really, really lovely. It's affordable and it's good and it works. So this is the one I'm using here today from Maui Moisture. I love Maui Moisture, so yeah. Moving on to stylers, I've got three really, really lovely ones today. I am gonna be using today Shea Moisture's Sugar Cane Extract and Metafoam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Conditioner with Marshmallow Root. Why Shea Moisture, why? Um, I feel like I talk about Shea Moisture so much. I used to work with them all the time and then recently, like the last two years, I feel like they just haven't been hitting me up. So Shea Moisture, where you at? Because I, I ride for y'all, okay? <laughs> I actually did a campaign with Shea Moisture for this specific product um, literally years ago and I still use it because it is so good. I'm almost out of this bottle. Luckily I have another backed up and ready to go. 
if you struggle with shine, if you struggle with soft hair, if you struggle with silkiness, if you need environmental coverage, okay, uh, this is the product for you. This was compared in like the creative brief that the brand gave me to the 10 in one Miracle Styler from, what's that brand that everyone and their mama bought that leave-in styler from? It's a 10, it's from the brand, it's a 10. Anyone else remember? I bought like 100 of them, I feel like we all had them. It's okay, you can tell the truth here. This is a safe space. Um, anywho, this was supposed to be kind of like the drugstore dupe for this, and it really is, and in my opinion, it's way better. It's so good. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that. Moving on to Maui Moisture's Frizz Free Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Mist. This is a fantastic styler. The only reason I'm not using it here today is because I feel like I use this like literally every week, and so <laughs> just wanna switch it up for you guys, but I could not love this product more. And then and last but not least, of course, we have Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream. You guys know I love and adore this. It's a really lovely cream. I have nothing but good things to say about it. Moving on to gel, I've become a gel lover. Many of you know I used to hate gel. I would never use gel. It was the bane of my existence, and now I love it. So my holy grail is Maui Moisture's Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Ultra Hold Gel. Now, Couple disclaimers here. It says ultra hold gel. I don't know why it says that because I would personally not love an ultra hold gel. Um, in my opinion, this is more of a medium hold, which is perfect for me, especially here in South Georgia in the heat and humidity. It's 94 degrees today. It says this gel is for thick curly hair. You do not have to have thick curly hair. I don't particularly love the wording on this packaging because I just don't find it to be accurate. I never leave the house. That's a lie. I never go on a trip. <laughs> I never go on a trip without this gel. Just try it, just give it a try. I briefly wanna talk about refreshers even though I'm not gonna be using one here today because of course this will be day one hair. Um, the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Refresher, which is silicone free, is such a joy, as well as Eva NYC's Bounce Back Curl Reviving Mist. It's really, really good. I like the pink packaging. Eva NYC is a really great brand that you can find at Target. This one's key ingredients are cactus flower and aloe vera. It's a really great refresher for that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, you know, 10th day hair. Last but not least, I wanted to speak to dry shampoos because you guys know that I love dry shampoos, of course, for refreshing my hair, but also even for first day hair to get some really nice lift and volume in the top of my hair. The only drugstore dry shampoo I can think of that I really, really loved was this one from Aussie that they unfortunately don't make anymore. I have looked for it, I have looked for it. I have not found it, so if you guys know of a really great drugstore dry shampoo that I can use, I would love nothing more than that recommendation. I did wanna mention two of my non-drugstore dry shampoo favorites. I know, sue me. Um, because I just don't have any drugstore ones on hand that I'm really loving lately. Let me know if there's something that I'm forgetting or something I haven't tried that you guys recommend that would be really helpful. I just, I genuinely can't think of any. Um, these are two of my favorites at the moment. I also love Playa's dry shampoo, but I did run out. Um, this is the Loving Proof Perfect Day dry shampoo. It's a cult favorite for a reason. Um, as well as IGK's First Class dry shampoo. It's Pretty pricey, but it is a massive bottle that lasts an eternity. Can't recommend either of these enough. I'm gonna go ahead and let future India wrap this up with her fresh wavy curls. All right, pop it. So now we've applied all of our styling products, our leave-in treatments, and our gel, and next we're going to simply let our hair air dry. Yeah, no, that is true. She is indeed gonna be air drying and not diffusing. You heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. So when I air dry my hair, which I often do in the summertime because I'm lazy, um, and trying to air dry in super humid Atlanta, Georgia, it is literally raining outside right now. I'm just not even gonna try, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to take out as much excess water as I can from my hair. Uh, with a microfiber towel. You could also use an old t-shirt. You don't need to run out and buy anything if you don't want to, but I will have some microfiber towels linked down below if you are interested. Highly recommend that instead of using just a terry cloth towel. Now, when I am air drying, what I like to do, I'm about to go watch Stranger Things. That's right, season four. My husband and I rewatched the first three seasons because we wanted to be reminded of every detail of Stranger Things, but we watched the first episode of season four last night, a couple nights ago, and it was really scary. 
<laughs> like really scary. But we're gonna go watch at least one episode right now. So what I'm gonna be doing while I'm sitting there is I'll have all my hair to one side, I'll be letting it dry, and then after about 10, 15 minutes, flip my hair right on over. So what this is gonna do is help get some, some airflow, you know, some AC up in the hair. It's also gonna help with volume. I find that when you just let your hair dry like this, one way it gets really, really flat. So for me, this helps with volume and helping it to dry a little bit faster. Of course, you can use a diffuser, but today I'm gonna be air drying, so I wanted to let you know. See you soon, crazy cats. Dustin is hands down my favorite boy character, and Max, Maxine is my favorite girl character. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go watch. Future India popping in here. These are my first day here results. I'm really happy with them. It looks super like mermaid S-shaped vibes. It's pretty, I feel pretty. <laughs> I do wanna point out that air drying versus a diffuser gives very different results. I love this drugstore combination. It's super affordable. It gives me really beautiful, beachy, messy, kind of like mermaid vibes. And I truly think that these are just as good of results as high-end products. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please take five seconds and give it a thumbs up. It will help me out so, so very much. If you liked how these kind of mermaid beachy waves turned out, it would mean a lot to me. <laughs> um, comment down below your favorite drugstore hair product. Maybe I can learn something new. Maybe there's a shampoo you swear by or a dry shampoo. As you know, I've been looking for a dry shampoo. Help a sister out. Um, yeah, let me know your favorite drugstore products down below. And once again, all the products featured in today's video will be linked down below. All right. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.